Hi, this is Matt from Excel Pro PC. Today I'm going to show you how to put a non-bootable ISO file onto a USB stick. So normally when I would be using a, an ISO file to put onto a USB stick, I would be it would be a bootable one. Um, so maybe putting Windows 7 onto onto USB so it, uh, download, it downloads and installs a bit faster. And for that, I would normally use a program called Rufus. But uh, there is, there are a few ISO files out there that uh, are non-bootable that you need to get onto a USB stick, and Rufus does not uh, does not allow that. So here is a guide to putting a non-bootable ISO file onto a USB stick. We need to use this program here which is the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool and this can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store of all places. So this is designed again for putting an ISO file, a bootable ISO file onto a USB stick but uh, you can also put a non-bootable ISO file onto a USB stick from this. So I've put an offline updater ISO file already selected here this is the main screen that it loads up when you uh, when you first click on it once you've downloaded and installed it so if when then you select your ISO file from here just click the browse button to select it and then we hit next and you need to choose your media type and in this instance we're going to be putting that ISO file onto a USB device I have this USB device here, a whole two gigabytes of it. If you have multiple ones, you can select from the drop down menu or refresh it if you've just inserted your USB drive. And once that is set, we begin copying. It will prompt you because it will need the USB device will need to be erased. And it will prompt you again because it wants to make sure that you uh, you, you understand that all the contents on this device will be lost. Yes. So it's just going to take a bit of time to format the disk, uh, delete any files that were on there, and then it will get on with copying the ISO file onto the USB. Okay, so the process has finally finished, and as you can see from the screen, we have actually got an error. Status, we were unable to copy your files. Please check your USB device and the selected ISO file, and try again. So, this error is saying that it's, it has failed, but in actual fact, it has not failed. <laughs> um, it is... This error occurs because this is a non-bootable ISO file that we've copied to the USB stick. So we can safely ignore that. Do not click on start over again or you, you will just get the same message basically. So we can safely just close that down in the safe knowledge that our USB device is actually fine. All the files have copied onto it's fine. It's not going to raise it unless we click on that start over button. So this is actually the end this is uh this is all done fine <coughs> now i'll just open up the computer just so you can see that those files are there that is all the files from the iso file so let's just close that and there we go that's all sorted for you i hope this has helped thank you bye bye